Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching. You're watching the VSO Gun Channel and it's excellent to have you here as always. Real quick reminder, YouTube's doing the thing again. Go check your subscription notification settings. Make sure that they're the way that you left them. Just because you're seeing this video now doesn't mean that your stuff hasn't been tampered with without your knowledge. Uh, today we're talking about Shot Stop Ballistics. This whole uh, scandal that we got kind of going down has, at least as far as I can tell, uh, come to its conclusion. That's what we're going to talk about here today uh, real quick, so I don't have to stop in the middle. We're just going to go ahead and take our capitalism break now, and I'll give you a real quick recap of how we got here and where we're going. Today's video is brought to you by Ace Tack Gear. Ace Tack does all the nylon things. So if you're looking to get into a plate carrier or chest rig, or you're just trying to augment the gear that you already have with some expansion pouches, here are your guys. Recently, I did a video on their medical kit, which is a collaboration with Everlit Survival. I'll have that video as well as the minimalist chest rig video I recently did from Ace Tech listed below for you to run down. What's more is both those companies offer VSO viewers a discount. So if you use my code listed over at the affiliates page, you can save 10%. Special thanks to them for making this video possible. All right, so these shitbirds from Shot Stop Ballistics decided that they were going to defraud a whole bunch of people and... The way body armor works, particularly when you're talking about any kind of uh, contracts with any kind of gun or an agency, is it has to be certified product. So it's not just NIJ rated. It has to be certified that it's NIJ rated. So it has to meet the specifications as tested by NIJ. Well, you can obtain that certification by submitting a whole bunch of samples to NIJ. They do that and they give you your stamp of approval, provided that you use all the materials that you said that you used in that construction from the vendors that you got them from. And they basically all have to be made in the United States is what it comes down to. Well, uh, these douche nozzles decided that they were going to try to get over on people and they got caught using... Chinese manufactured product. And there's a couple different ways that you can figure that out. You can see if you're getting uh, this stuff from a shipping container uh, that came from a place or uh, many of the materials are not their natural. So a really good example, and this is just anecdotal from, from experience, uh, Kevlar, like DuPont Kevlar is by its nature yellow. OK, uh, but it's dyed to be extra yellow. So if you just got Kevlar, it, it, it will appear yellow, but it won't be as yellow as the DuPont stuff. And DuPont also uh, stamps their stuff across it that says DuPont Kevlar on it. Right. And they do it in a particular way. So it's very identifiable that that is their product. I don't know the intricacies of every material used in every body armor product everywhere, but I am familiar with that one from experience and what happened in this instance was NIG actually did some randoms on them. So they showed up, the product line pulled some random samples, went out, tested them, and they failed, which is an abnormal thing. You don't pass on Monday and fail on Friday, uh, even if that Friday is uh, months away. My phone, not yours. Which is a, a first indicator that something's up, and then they tore the products apart, and one of the materials in that product was like, uh, yeah, that is not U.S. manufactured material. That is definitely Chinese in the raw, whatever. Right. So that they set up a sting, uh, interdicted some shipments. And it was one of those situations where you got like a box of product over here and a made in the USA pile of stickers over here. Yeah, definitely caught red handed with uh, defrauding their customers. Right. And that's the problem is that they're claiming that it's U.S. made product and they were selling it as U.S. made product. And you can't do that, particularly if you're selling it to government clients. So what we're looking at here today is the dissolution of Shot Stop Ballistics. And uh, goodbye, good riddance to these type of people that are willing to make an extra buck by slipping a inferior product into a piece of life-saving equipment. I hope that they rot under the jail for this sort of thing. I have zero sympathy for them whatsoever. Now, the reason I bring this up is that there are many vendors out there that were using this product, and this is not their fault, okay? However, what you should do, if you own a body armor product, if you have been issued a body armor product uh, by your agency, you know, or you just 
you as a regular citizen have purchased a body armor product from a vendor, you need to go contact that vendor and see if your product was affected because it is clear that not only are many products on the market impacted by this, but those products are inferior as far as the standard is concerned. They are no longer life-saving pieces of equipment. Now, does that mean that you should stop wearing it immediately until you get a replacement? Absolutely not. Do not stop using it. It's better than nothing. However, if your product is impacted by that, you should look at replacement as soon as possible to make sure that uh, it is uh, going to be there to help you out when you need it. I will also allow uh, a few people to send me the product if they want to, and I'll go out and shoot it on the range to show you guys just how bad it is and do my synopsis on it if somebody ends up with any of the product that they would like tested. Now, the last thing I will say today about this whole situation is that we have many a body armor uh, vendor that we stand behind here at VSO Gun Channel. You can go over to the affiliates page, same one that I sent you to for the ad in today's video. Look and see what is offered over there as far as discounts are concerned and get yourself some armor that even if it was affected by this, which I don't know that they were, they will make it right. So unfortunately, anybody who has any product directly from Shot Stop Ballistics is probably going to get screwed on their refund. But if a third-party vendor was using that sort of stuff, then you have a pretty good chance of getting that replaced. Again, this is not the fault of the third-party vendor that makes like, uh, say they make the armored vest and they use Shot Stop Ballistic plates in it. It is not their fault that the vendor that they were using didn't hold up their end of the bargain. You, you don't go out and test every vest that comes into your, that you, that you manufactured or they wouldn't work, right? You have to, at some level, trust the vendors that you are uh, using to complete your product. Again, shame on those, those dudes. And I don't know if there were gals involved too, but shame on those douchebags that perpetrated this and then in doing so has depleted the trust of the market that much further. And after they get out of jail, we will make sure that they never work in this industry ever again.